What's going on, guys? The, today is May 1st, and this is Jumanji1776, also uh, known as Jimmy. I am one of the mods at Option Goats Trading LLC. Uh, check out our Discord. If you go to our website and go to join now, it'll take you to the free membership where we have our general chat. If you upgrade to the OG Prime membership, you will get um, all these other great benefits, which I'm going to show you here in a bit. Um, this is not financial advice. If you do seek financial help, please seek your financial advisor. So this is the swing recap for the last week of April going into May. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over all the swing plays that we had. I'm going to take a brief moment to go over all the scalps that we had from our scalpers at the beginning of the week. And then at the end of the video, we're going to announce the winner of the uh, weekly Hall of Fame. So this would be like a member that um, either used the scalp levels or did a swing trade or let's just say they did a trade on their own uh, and it came out profitable and they came out with good uh, good gains. We give them a weekly Hall of Fame. Uh, there's going to be four every month. Uh, and then at the end of every month, we're going to give them a uh, $50 prize. So if you're a member, always uh, message your uh, call outs in member trades, which is down here. All you have to do is set your trade in there. Or if you're like um, the winner that's going to end at the end of the video, uh, just post your profits uh, in in profits, excuse me. And we'll we'll look through them through the week, and then at the end of the week we'll find them. So let's start off. We swung a NNDM call on last Friday. So let's pull up the chat here. So we have NNDM right here. This was let's see, this was. April 23rd to 26th. So we bought the NNDM call right here. And it was it was a very cheap call. You could have bought two or three of them. Um, and this was from our option flow bot that uh, released this call out. I waited till the end of the day to buy it. And on the 26th, which was that following Monday, we were able to get out with some gains, which was nice. So let's do this. I'm gonna split and put the chat the chart over here. There we go. Uh, this is the NNDM call that we had. Granted, yes, it was only $80, but we were able to cash out 100, so we came out with 22 um, profit. This, that actually is a lot for a stock that is priced at $7 to $8. Um, so that's a really good game there. Before I skip over the scalp, so this was big scalps of the week that Corn had. Um, PayPal had a $4 move, Square had a $5 move, Amazon Square. Tesla was big on Thursday and Friday, and then he ended with Amazon on uh, Friday. Uh, the square that you see here and the square you see here are going to be the levels that our Hall of Fame OG member that uh, is going to win at the end of the uh, video. So right on corn with those scalp levels, showing big moves there. So if you're ever looking to scalp, make sure you do it carefully and make sure you have a trailing stop loss or just a stop loss in general. Right, you can't keep trading unless you um, have money and you will run out of money if you, if you don't manage your risk. So uh, right on corn with those scalps this week. So awesome job there. Uh, NNDM, so we came out with that 20%. This was kind of an experiment. I wasn't gonna go heavy on this stock because it's NNDM. Um, and if we took the, the long, it's kind of been in a downtrend. So yeah, I was only gonna spend about $80 on this type of trade. Okay, so moving on. NNDM was on that Friday. We swung it to Monday. So I got my Moderna shot on Monday, and there was a really good amount of option flow coming in from Moderna on, on that Tuesday. So I thought to myself, well, we could go long on Moderna here and see if we can pop it over to 185. So this day, it had a bull flag, okay? The part, excuse me, the lower part of that flag was right here at 181.80 uh, at open at about 30 or 40 minutes into open the next day. We hit our stop loss. So we lost about 100 bucks on that trade. Um, we, if had we held, we probably lost, we would have lost 200 or 250. So we're off to kind of a weird start for the beginning of the week. Um, you know, we got 22 in gains from NNDM, then we lost 100 from Moderna. So at this point, we were netting negative uh, 80, right? Uh, one of our leaps for UMC, we cashed out on Monday, which was, um, 
which was a, a long-term trade. It wasn't in our swing trade, but it was in our, one of our leaps. Uh, UMC was popping off uh, with heavy volume on Tuesday and excuse me, Monday and Tuesday. So we saw it climb up, and this was partly because Envis uh, and NDM, a lot of the small cap stocks that were getting a lot of chatter on, um, you know, Wall Street bets and stuff like that, was uh, you know popping the stock up, and so I took advantage of it. Uh, right at the top here, I exited my uh, 10 call because it was for July. I kept my seven and a half call, so I came out with 100 bucks profit. So we went from negative 80 net on Monday to cashing out UMC and NNDM. So we netted um, plus 20. OK, so moving on throughout the week, we opened a PayPal spread. Now, I'm still holding that PayPal spread. There's I haven't exited. Um, but we are looking to collect $140 in premium by next Friday. So if I go, let's zoom this out for a second here. So let's see if we can make this bigger. Here we go. Okay. So here's PayPal, right? So those two red lines that we have here are a credit spread. Um, hopefully we get a good old fashioned bullish Monday. Uh, once we hit 260, that's going to be our stop loss there. Um, uh, grant, because of the collect, the, the premium that we collected up here was 140. Um, if we ex expire below the 257.50 level, we would lose about 360. So we're not going to let us be, um, get into that situation. Um, so as long as it stays above 260 on Monday, we're okay. If we get a huge gap down. Um, on Monday, we'd be cutting the cutting the trade, right? It's done. It's over with. Um, you know, we entered up here when it was having a bull flag and the market was just kind of getting a lot of selling pressure on Thursday and Friday. So I think PayPal is really just following, you know, the market. I really do think that the stock is at these levels. I think it's a bullish stock, um, especially from bouncing up from these levels. I think the next stop would be 282 or 283 uh, sometime next week. if the market will let it, right? Because PayPal is, is kind of going with the market. We stayed above 260 uh, on Friday when we opened this on Wednesday. So we were, I think right now we're about down $80. I haven't cashed out, cashed that out yet. So I won't uh, keep that part of the weekly net for the swings. Okay, so moving on. So we still have the PayPal. Um, and then as we got closer to Friday and Saturday, excuse me, Thursday and Friday, uh, Tesla was getting a lot of big moves. I was not so much interested in opening up swings on Thursday and Friday as to much uh, trading Tesla because we were getting these really, really big moves. So the our bot was catching a lot of option flow on this day when we were dropping from 700 down to 672. We had a call out somewhere up here and I waited till it broke the 691 level and I took it down to grab a quick $105. Okay. So really, really easy. Um, I have a large account where I can probably buy a lot more of these calls. Um, but I just want to show traders that you don't need a huge account, um, you know, to be a consistent trader. Um, you don't have to have over 10, 20, 30 grand. You can have a small account. Yeah, it's going to be a lot easier, I mean, a lot harder, and you're going to be running up uh, a hill doing that. But I just want to show people that with three or 400 bucks and you're being really careful and selective with your trades uh, and, you use, and you're and you using the utilities around you to make those trades, um, you can come out profitable. And like I said, you always want to follow that stop loss. So here's Tesla. Um, we just grabbed the 680. Uh, put on on Thursday, we grabbed a quick 100. Had we held, we probably would have been up another 1,200, I think. Um, but you know, don't never beat yourself up for profit taking. Always be happy that you got out green. Um, good, be happy that you didn't get out with a with a stop loss. You know, um, don't let FOMO, don't let FOMO take over you. Uh, you control the FOMO. So so on that Thursday, we made a hundred quick 105, and then on Friday. Uh, Tesla, again, was getting a lot of option volume, so I was all eyes on Tesla Thursday and Friday. Um, kind of going back to SPY, on Thursday and Friday, I mean, Thursday we had this really, I mean, gap up, come come to our uh, supply area, and then right, uh, excuse me, demand area, and then we hit up right up here, and then we get we came down and came kind of stayed flat, so I wasn't too interested in going long or going short on a swing, I think, uh, with my PayPal credit spread 
I was I was doing well enough for keeping swings and I didn't want to hold uh, too much over the weekend. So anyways, Tesla was starting to go up higher and higher and higher uh, on Friday. And so I thought, well, why don't we just work some calls in on that day? So uh, we day traded a 705 call, made a quick 105 there. Um, and then we uh, day traded a 712.50 for 22 bucks, quick 22 bucks right there. And then after that, uh, once it hit its head on the 715 level, we made a quick 47 on the put. And so we didn't lose money on any of those Tesla trades. Um, I was utilizing tick the entire time I was trading Tesla, um, just because you kind of have an idea of when Tesla is starting to work its way up or working its way down. So if we look at, oh, sorry, it's going to be actually my advanced combos um, at the post I had. Here we go. This has a better explanation of what I did. Let's see if I can zoom in here. There we go. So this was when, this was the second trade on Tesla when I bought the zero day 705 call. Um, when I day trade, I do not use the five minute or the 10 minute, 30 minute. I use the one hour. Um, just because you're using one candle, you don't have to follow a number of candles afterwards. So um, I was watching Tesla here, long entry on the zero day at the bottom of this uh, candlestick. And then it, and as I was looking at a long entry down here, I was making sure that tick was coming back either from negative 1000 or coming back from negative 500. So it was, it was already at negative 400 when Tesla was down here. And I just thought, you know, there's going to be a pretty good amount of um, pretty good amount of buying pressure uh, that we might be able to make a quick 50 or hundred bucks. So at the same time, Tesla was down here and then uh, tick was down here at negative 500 and it was working its way back to zero. That's when we bought the 705 call and that's how we made our quick 105. Um, like I said, I use the one hour. So that way I'm only watching one candle and I have tick next to it. So that way I can, um, synchronize the way Tesla is moving with buying and selling in the market. So that was a really good trade. And a lot of members were asking me questions on how I did it. Um, nothing, nothing too crazy. I mean, you kind of have to be selective, make sure you're not in the, uh, not in the, in, not in the call too long that you might, uh, you, you really feel in that theta burn. This was probably, um, only four hours left on trading on Friday. So you definitely want to be careful. Um, I'm using tick a lot more often, especially for day trades. It's really useful for entries and exits on swing trades as well. So that way, um, you know, if tick is above zero, all calls are going to be basically pumped just because the market is bullish um, or, you know, the market is has bullish sentiment because it's over the zero here. If it's under the zero, you want to watch out buying those puts. So if you're swing trading, you're trying to sell premium. Um, you know, you want to sell them when the puts are pumped. So you'd be selling them when the tick is down here. And then when tick is up here, that's when you would be um, selling calls if you wanted to be selling a call, debit spread or uh, covered calls and stuff like that. So um, that, one's a, that was a really interesting trade. Uh, that definitely made the week a lot better towards the end there after the Moderna uh, play. But uh, that's, that's kind of the way it is. So going on here, um, just kind of recapping my whole month. So we've been doing these swing uh, videos every week for the past four weeks since the beginning of April. Um, and, you know, some of them are, you know, I probably say 30 to 40 percent are ideas derived from our traded um, uh, bot that we use from the bullseye bot that we use, which is right here. It basically gives out intraday, uh, call, uh, you know, signals what to go long, what to go. Uh, short and it also gives you an idea of how much uh, option flow that specific position would be taking and it gives you a good idea now i don't typically buy calls or puts from these call outs um, i typically make credit spreads um, just because that's just the way i trade I'd, I'd prefer to sell premium if anything um, so that's one big uh, awesome thing that comes with our discord uh, and typically me and a couple other traders will be always posting some type of ta any kind of stocks, maybe we saw a call, call out that we liked, and then we gave our two cents in TA on the stock, which is um, in, in our eyes, pretty useful. Um, so for the month of April was a really good experience. We started using tick, we started using the bot a lot more, which again, um, you know, with, with a stock, you can see where the stock share price is going because people are buying and selling it. Um, with options, you don't know where people buying or selling, you wanna always be checking the volume and open interest. So um, this was for the month of May. 
excuse me, the month of April. So I started at 27.85 uh, right down here. We ended at 28.82. Um, so we netted about a thousand. Um, we probably made it somewhere in between probably 22 to 23 trades. Um, and probably the ones that we lost on could have got worse. So we did get stopped out on, on those trades. So that came out really well. I really like that. I also just really like that the fact that Tesla popped back over 700 on that Friday. It looked really good, um, smashing through that 50 SMA. So other than that, um, like I said, so we have our prime chat Q&A, which you can ask questions on, advanced compositions, which is... Uh, uh, Advanced Convos is where we post our TA and what we feel uh, where the stock is going to go. Our swing trades is kind of where what we do for uh, call outs, excuse me, what, for ideas that we want to do. And then once we have an update uh, on the positions that we're in, uh, we post them in position update. Oh yeah, Doge is almost to 40 cents. So I made a quick $50 if you count that on the weekend, I guess, but that's not in my, um, it's not in my swing account. So Alrighty, so we're going, we're getting to the end of the video here. Um, we will see you next time. Oh, and our winner for this weekly Hall of Fame drum roll is going to be Liddy Sprinkles. He used the SQ level that Corn posted on, I think it was either Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, there was there were square levels on Monday and Tuesday, and it looks like he made 268 on one of them. He went for a double dip uh, immediately after and made a quick another 400, uh, or excuse me, a, a total of um, 400 es essentially. So uh, congratulations, Lou Sprinkles. Uh, we will have you and Mo, we will flip a coin and see who wins the $50 prize for the month of April. Good job scalping out there. I know he's been doing a lot of scalp trading in the morning and he's always posting profits. So Props to you, Lily Sprinkles. Keep up the good work. Thank you for being a member of the OG family. And I think that's it. So thank you guys for watching this video. Until next week, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. You can always DM me in the Option Goats Trading uh, Discord. You can also just go to the website here. You can go to Join Now, or you can go down to the free membership. Go buy the membership. Right now, oh, yes, very important. Right now, we do have a sale. We are giving three months. You would get three months of membership of using the Discord. And you would, instead of the $60 premium per month that you would be paying, it's now $30. So use the code SPRING30, and that's capital S P R I N G 30. Um, you would go into the Join Now credit or debit uh, button down here, and there's going to be a promo code. Use that promo code SPRING30 if it does not work please message me through the Discord or you can always send it through an email right here on our website. Don't forget to put your name, your mail, or excuse me, email and the subject and just make sure you also post what your name uh, in the Discord is so we can find you and help you get that discount. So like I said, let's see if we can find that, find that post here. Here we go. Spring sale. Bam. We got a goat right there. Spring sale half off three months. Um, so like I said, that just means, and here's the code right there. Spring 30. So if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. Like I said, my name is Jumanji 1776 in the month. Uh, I am basically one of, one of the bigger uh, swing traders in the chat. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to message me. Uh, a lot of really good trades we had this past week. Really looking forward to next week. Uh, I'm really looking forward for actually next month and be able to utilize our bot that we have, the new bot that we have. Um, and hopefully we see the market pick a direction so we could uh, get some volatility, get some movements. in. so other than that, have a great weekend. Today's May 1st. Enjoy the beginning of May. We'll see you Monday for market open. Have a great night and talk to you later.